are going to start our discussion on the question topic affordable housing so yes we can uh, put this question under gs paper 1 as well as gs paper 2 also so in, in gs paper 1 urbanization and associated issues okay and where you can put this topic in gs paper 2 welfare schemes take care of the government for the vulnerable section of society so this question could be part of both gs paper 1 and gs paper 2 as well this is a part of indian society and this is social justice now we are going to discuss this question how can affordable housing for all can play a critical role in overall human development Okay, so this is a 10 marks question in 10 marks question of course you are not going to cross one page or 1.5 pages okay so now moving forward we will discuss the relevance of this question first so we are going to discuss the relevance of this question first so as we know as our country is going through an economic transition characterized by demand for better housing facilities there is a widening gap between the demand for houses and its availability okay so there is a widening gap both kaha in urban and rural areas so there is an issue of what there is lack of proper housing facilities so agar hum is report ki mane named as according to Report of the technical group estimation of urban housing shortage. Okay? According to report of technical group estimation of urban housing shortage 2012. There is a huge gap in demand and supply of urban housing okay so that is why we need affordable housing for all so why uh, i have discussed the relevance here what is the relevance of this question so as we know our economy is going through an economic transition okay characterized by demand for better housing facilities and there is but there is a widening gap between the demand for houses and its availability so there is demand and supply kya hai yaha pe demand hai but supply kya hai kam hai yaha pe so both in urban and rural areas okay so there is a lack of proper housing facilities in both the urban and rural areas and according to report of the technical group estimation of urban housing shortage 2012 it says there is a huge gap in demand and supply of urban housing in both the areas urban and rural areas that is why we need a proper scheme we need a proper policy which ensures what affordable housing for all okay so that is the relevance of this question this is the relevance of this question now we are moving forward and we are going to discuss the approach here so now we are going to discuss the approach so hum approach mein kya follow kar sakte hain question is saying 
क्वेश्चन इज से हाउ कैन अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग कैन प्ले अ क्रिटिकल रोल इन ओवरऑल ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट सो वी हैव टू डिस्कस हेयर वी हैव टू बिग ब्रिंग अ डिस्कशन हेयर कि अफोर्डेबल वॉट इज हाउ अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग कैन प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर ओवरऑल ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट सो वी हैव टू इस्टेब्लिश अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग and human development ठीक है so what we have to show कि how affordable housing ensures overall human development we have to establish a relationship here ठीक है कि कैसे affordable housing ensure क्या करता है human development ठीक है so we have to bring discussion here अब now what could be the pos uh, possible structure ठीक है structure क्या होगा यहाँ पे so of course we are going to start with the introduction and here introduction में हम क्या start कर सकते हैं we can start with the definition we can start with the fact ठीक है और report as I have mentioned here we have to establish a relationship here between affordable housing and human development we have to discuss how affordable housing can play an important role and how it can ensure overall human development ठीक है so we have to discuss this so how we are going to structure the answer so of course we are going to start with an introduction then we are going to discuss the main body okay and we'll supplement our points with the example why example because question is is asking you ki how affordable ask, uh, housing will ensure human development so of course you have to establish a relationship between both these two so of course uh, we are going to use examples here in support of our arguments and then we will conclude our answer okay okay so that's it this is the approach and now we are moving forward and we are going to discuss the introduction okay we are going to discuss the introduction okay what could be the possible introduction here we can of course start with the definition of affordable housing ठीक है हम definition से start कर सकते हैं and second क्या हो सकता है we can start with any fact data or data or of any report ठीक है हम इससे भी start कर सकते हैं ठीक है so the both ways are possible ठीक है you can start with any one of them so here in my answer ठीक है this is the introduction part ठीक and this is the main body and this is the main body and this is the conclusion. See, this is a ten marker question and in ten marker question I have covered one point five pages. Is it's one almost one point five pages. ठीक है so see my introduction. ठीक है within three lines. ठीक है within three lines. So what I have done in my introduction, I have started my introduction with the definition here. ठीक है I have started my introduction with the definition of affordable housing. Okay, so this um, definition is, and there is another way to start your answer. Uh, like you can start with any fact or report. That as I have discussed here, that as our country is uh, is going through an economic transition characterized by demand for better housing facilities. So we can say, according to report of technical group estimation of urban housing uh, shortage 2012, there is a huge gap in demand and supply of urban housing in both rural and urban areas. Hence, we need a scheme or policy uh, to ensure affordable housing for all. Okay, this is the one way. This is the another way. Sorry, and now we are going to discuss the another way, one more way. So. We have started with the definition. I am going to discuss introduction type two, where I am going to discuss. I will say affordable housing refers to units that are affordable for those with income. below the average theek okay? hai so what i am saying ki affordable housing refers to the unit 
that are affordable for those with income below the average household income. So again, I'm starting my answer with a definition. Uh, I'm explaining this term here. Okay, what is affordable housing? So yes, in income. So we'll be we say we'll, we will see in India, affordable housing is. Okay, we'll say in India, affordable housing is provided. To whom uh, it is afforded for for low income people, low and middle income people, low and middle income people and economically weaker sections who have considerably who have considerably low levels of income in urban areas okay see this is the another nation here so uh, what i have done i am i am describing here what is affordable housing or india mein affordable housing ye kisko diya jata hai uh, it is provided for low income or middle income group okay at economically weaker section who have considerably low levels of income okay so this is the one way to start your answer this is the another way to start your answer and of course you can start your answer to make the relevance your introduction type 3 ठीक है आप इसको फैक्ट की तरह भी स्टार्ट कर सकते हो सो आई होप आई एम क्लियर हेयर सो इन दिस वे वी आर डन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मेन बॉडी ऑफ द आंसर सो एज आई हैव मेंशन नंबर ऑफ टाइम कि ट्राई टू गिव हेडिंग्स ठीक है ट्राई टू गिव मेजर हेड्स एंड सब हेड्स इन योर आंसर ठीक है इन योर आंसर वाई बिकॉज इट मेक्स योर आंसर लुक मोर स्ट्रक्चर्ड नीट एंड क्लीन और इससे क्या होता है कि जो भी की वर्ड्स होते हैं वेन यू आर अंडरलाइनिंग द की वर्ड्स तो क्या होता है कि ये विजिबल इसकी विजिबिलिटी बढ़ जाती है ठीक है सो दैट इज वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गिव हेडिंग्स टू गिव सब हेड्स ठीक है एंड अंडरलाइन द की वर्ड्स ओके सो हियर आई हैव स्टार्टेड द मेन बॉडी ऑफ द आंसर हाउ आई हैव गिवन द मेजर हेड हेयर आई एम सेइंग रोल ऑफ अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग इन सोशल एंड ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट ठीक है अब यहाँ पे वी आर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द रोल ऑफ अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग इन सोशल और ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट और वी आर गोइंग टू स्टैब्लिश अ रिलेशनशिप between what affordable housing and human development so one by one we will discuss each point one by one so my first point says home to homeless yes how home to homeless okay first point is home to homeless so around 1 0.15% of india's sorry indians they are still what without home okay or homeless इन अर्बन एरिया ठीक है ये किसका डेटा है 2011 का सेंसस का डेटा है ये एंड कोविड ने क्या किया है कोविड हैज वर्स इन दिचुएशन ठीक सो दैट इज वाई वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड वॉट वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड दम अफोर्डेबल हाउसेस ठीक अगेन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज होम टू माइग्रेंट्स ओके सो क्या है कि Approximately 140 million seasonal migrant worker in urban areas में आते हैं ठीक है इतने हैं migrant workers in urban areas in India ठीक है so issue is कि क्या होता है जो affordable rental housing क्या कर सकती है can address what it can address their housing needs as well as plus what the crowding of urban space theek hai and yes it can also address the issue of slums or slum development theek hai so what's my second point it says ki home to migrant it will provide home to migrant 
सो अराउंड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन फोर्टीन मिलियन सीजनल माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स दे मूव टू अर्बन सेंटर्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ यू नो लैक ऑफ एफोर्डेबल हाउसेज एंड रेंटल हाउसिंग दे आर फोर्स टू लीव दे आर फोर्स टू लिव इन स्लम्स एंड यस एंड विच लीड टू वर्ड क्राउडिंग ऑफ अर्बन स्पेस ठीक है सो दैट इज वाई अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग इज the need of the r theek hai that is why it is important to provide affordable houses so this was my second point now we'll discuss the third one okay so my third point it says addresses it it will address crime okay how it's going to address crime yes because of lack of proper housing it uh, provide what it it's a breeding ground of what crime against women and children so of course the children the bachche and women they are living in slums they are more vulnerable to sexual abuse and yes human trafficking etc theek hai that is why we need what affordable housing it will address crime theek hai crime yes it will address crime against women and children living in slums or in those areas and the next point is improve health and sanitation of course so as we know approximately on an average 35% of indians they are living in slums which are known for inadequate and inadequate health and sanitation so approximately 35% of indians they are living in where urban slums theek hai so if we will provide them better housing or if we will provide them affordable houses what will happen we can tackle the issue of issues related to health and sanitation theek hai so yes it will improve health and sanitation as we know more approximately 35% of indians they are still residing residing in slum areas so by providing them affordable houses we can tackle the issues related to health and sanitation of of poor and the people living in slum areas theek okay? hai because these areas are more vulnerable to such diseases theek okay? hai these are uh, more vulnerable to such diseases and yes and during the covid time covid pandemic slum areas and rural areas were rural areas they were the major cause of concern ki agar wahan pe spread hua to kya hoga why because in slum areas because of lack of proper sanitation facilities and why in urban rural areas because of lack of proper healthcare facilities so that is why it is important to provide them affordable housing or houses theek okay? hai now next is improve education and nutrition how okay so as we know kya hoga jab affordable housing hogi it will provide safe environment theek hai safe environment kisko to children theek hai and to women also of course theek hai and what will happen it will provide children a safe environment to study as we know ki poor housing quality it increases the chances or the probability of diseases by 50% bachcha bimar rahega to padhai kab karega okay so of course it will provide safe environment to children and of course women also children in respect of what education theek hai in education okay so this was the next point it will help it will help in improving education and nutrition and the next point is improving finance yes so affordable uh, affordable housing what it will do it will boost the construction sector of course it will increase the employment opportunity for construction workers okay it will improve employment opportunity for con construction workers okay okay so the next is more matlab employment or more employment will be generated it will generate more employment opportunities so this is my conclusion so now we are done with the body part
so now we are going to discuss the conclusion how i have concluded my answer see let's read the conclusion first what what my conclusion is saying it's saying recently covid 19 has led to reduction in disposable income of many people okay i have give mentioned a report here according to pew report okay also there is a demand supply gap of 4 crore affordable housing in this regard government has launched affordable housing for all program and accorded affordable housing the status of infrastructure so what i have done i have mentioned here what the objective of the affordable housing so till now what we were doing while concluding our answer we were concluding by giving a way forward we were concluding by giving by summarizing the whole answer actually it's a kind of summarization but we are we are discussing the objective of the scheme theek hai so what we have done we have mentioned we have concluded our answer by discussing the objective of our scheme theek hai uh, yes till now what we have learned let's quickly uh, recall or let's quickly revise so our question was on how can affordable housing for all can play a critical role in overall human development it was a 10 it is a 10 marks question so yahan pe batana tha ki how what's the relationship between affordable housing and human overall human development okay so what we have discussed till now we have discussed the relevance of this question first theek hai relevance kya hai why this question is important theek hai i have discussed the relevance then we have discussed the approach we have to in approach what we have discussed that we have to establish a relationship between affordable housing and human development theek hai and then we have discussed the structure theek hai and then in the next part what we have discussed we have discussed the introduction part and in introduction i have said ki we can start the introduction in this question in two ways we can simply start with the, uh, the definition of affordable housing and in there is another way to start your intro by using fact theek okay? hai so this is the uh, example of uh, starting your answer by using definition and this is the example of starting your answer by using the fact theek hai so i have discussed the fact here you can make this relevance as your intro so that was all about the introduction then we have discussed the main body of the answer what we have done in the main body of the answer theek hai we have uh, we have mentioned several subheads where we were trying to establish a relationship between affordable housing and what and human development theek hai hum yahan pe relationship establish kar rahe the ki how affordable housing will ensure over or how they can play a critical role in ensuring the overall human development theek hai so we have discussed several points here so yes i'm not saying ki this answer is perfect of course you can add or subtract points from here you can add more points more examples here and okay so we have discussed number of points here and yes we are using facts also why because question is a in question you have to establish relationship that is why i'm using facts and examples here in support of my arguments theek okay? hai in support of my points okay so that was all about the main body and in the end what we have discussed we have discussed the conclusion part so what we have done in the conclusion we have concluded our answer by mentioning the objective of the scheme and of course what you can do you can conclude your even you can make this conclusion part okay uh, to start your introduction okay so if there is any question on its schemes what you can do you can use the objective of that scheme as your introduction or as a conclusion also theek okay? hai if you are not getting how to conclude the that particular answer what you can do you can simply conclude your answer by mentioning the objective of the scheme theek okay? hai so that was all about this question i hope it helps thank you